Hey guys, Knife Detector here, and let's see if we can set a record for my videos as far as how quick this one is. Uh, this is just a quick update on this H. Boker Vintage Elephant Toe Knife that I did a video on recently. Uh, gonna make this a real quick one. Like to see it? Here it goes. Okay. So upon chatting with my, uh, my friend Stuart, um, he recommended that I shave a little bit... Uh, little bit off the end of the knife there of the the main blade to try and get it to fit better because if you recall from the previous video uh this knife had been sharpened so much that it actually was missing part of the blade so it stuck out a little bit you know just how when people sharpen it they sharpened it over at the tip and and so a lot of the blade that used to be here was gone so because of that it stuck up a little bit and i really didn't want to put it in my pocket so we talked and uh or we commented back and forth in emails and uh, Stuart recommended that I kind of do a vertical, uh, a vertical shave right here, and kind of like uh, re, uh, reconstitute that blade right there, and uh, kind of like uh, uh, with a grinder. Or he didn't specify what to use, but I normally use a grinder. I had been toying with that idea too. I, I didn't really want to use, uh, lose any of the blade, but I had already tried. Uh, polishing the the kick right here and trying to take a little bit of that so i did that and uh it really had no effect on this particular occasion so i decided you know what let me just go ahead and try uh what stuart recommended and let me show you the results here so let's lower this one first there it goes and let's close the main blade and there you go this is what it looks like looks pretty good and now guess what look at that it's not gonna cut any of my man parts when it goes in my pocket so that's a good thing so thanks a lot Stuart. i probably would not have done it if i hadn't gotten that recommendation from you i was thinking about doing that i had been thinking about doing that since i got it but but i just needed a little extra push so thanks my friend for giving me that little extra push i think it looks pretty good it kind of looks like the head of a sperm whale there and uh, now you can see if I close it that way, that's really the way it's meant to be closed. Uh, I have the nail neck there, and I have the nail neck here, which is long pull. So basically, I was worried that I was going to eat into that nail neck, but Stuart said, just give it more of a vertical profile change. And that's what I did. And you still got plenty of nail neck there, and it looks pretty good, my friend. So I want to thank you for that. It's a close-up. This is the new profile of it. It does kind of look like a bit of a sperm whale, but that's okay. This is, after all, sunfish knife. And uh, no change on that one. So, just wanted to say uh, thanks a lot, my friend, for that advice. And uh, I'm glad that, that I got you and you can give me that advice. Appreciate that. And now I'm really going to enjoy carrying this bad boy in my pocket because I'm not going to fear that I'm going to end up cutting something important. All right, guys, that's it. Just a quickie. Y'all take care. God bless. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper.